Minneapolis bird flu outbreak is growing tonight. The Department of Agriculture confirmed the state's first case back on March 1st, and there have been four more outbreaks since then. All of it's putting Iowa's chicken and turkey industries at risk. WHO 13 Zach Fisher has the story. I'm out here at the Griffune Family Farm in Ankeny, Iowa, where they've been raising chickens and other types of birds for more than two decades. Now, over that 20 year span, they say that the bird flu has never really been a problem for them. We don't have any trees around for birds to really stick around in or wild birds, and that would be the way I think that we would get it. So far in the state, there has been five reported outbreaks with the three largest totaling over six million birds that need to be killed or destroyed. Griffun explains what cleaning measures they've been following for decades to give them peace of mind. If you're in the chicken house, wash your hands when you come out and don't wear your boots somewhere that you have on in the chicken house, but as long as it's contained on the farm, yeah. it's not really, we don't really go to anybody else's chicken house. With backyard flocks in a couple different counties being impacted, as well as large producers, the Iowa Secretary of Agriculture says that the amount of cases this early in spring is concerning. So oh, that's why we're really talking about that biosecurity, protect your birds, be watching your birds for symptoms and then let us know if you do see that. So at this point, it is a concerning situation because we have five confirmed cases already in March and uh, it's going to be a, a long spring of folks really needing to stay on high alert. The Griffun family farm will be using their same tactics as always, but know that there is not a whole lot to be done to prevent the spread. There's nothing we can do. I mean, you wash, you keep the chicken house clean, you, but you don't invite people in. <laughs> and that's about all you can do. So whether you have a backyard flock or whether it's a large producer, it's about trying to prevent the contact between wild birds and domestic. Now the secretary advises again to watch your bird for symptoms. You can call the Iowa Department of Agriculture to report it. That's 515-242-0247. Dan. Yeah, hopefully not too many uh, calls needed to be made here in the near future. Thank you, Zach.